Welcome, I'm Joshua Sun. I'm sure that by now my face and voice are seared into your mind. In June, we announced the coming of the Pimax Crystal, the second product of the Reality Series lineup. This time, we're bringing even better stuff, wide-ranging information and hands-on video using our new Pimax Crystal headset and some news about our upcoming Pimax 12K QLED headset. So stay tuned. Five years ago, in 2017, we released the Pimax 8K, an unprecedented headset at the time that challenged the status quo. Of course, the story ended well, and we delivered, but not without a few difficulties and challenges along the way. The lack of predecessors to build upon meant we had to jump through many technical hurdles with almost no support materials. Research and development was like mountaineering, but with no fixed ropes, no guides, and no shelter along the way. So here we are today, during a time when some companies are turning away from PC VR, we are still pioneering new vistas of naturalness, self-awareness, and freedom for VR 3.0 enthusiasts. Standalone headsets may require less time and resources to develop for, but we strongly believe Pimax should always aim for the top and always push for new limits that our customers can enjoy. We are VR fans just like all of you. So in October of 2021, we presented yet another unprecedented product that some said could not be done, the Pimax Reality 12K QLED. The 12K QLED is custom made as the ultimate enthusiast headset. Much like our vision for the original 8K, we want the 12K to take us many steps further into more realistic virtual worlds and bring you VR experiences that push the limits like never before. Needless to say, the journey to the summit is a difficult one. It's very lonely, but the good news is that this time we have an array of technology we created for our previous headsets that we're building on, and we can say that we're progressing rapidly along the path. So now I'm going to hand this over to our COO for a moment to talk about some of our upcoming plans. Kevin, off to you. Hello, my name is Kevin Henderson. I'm the Pimax USA COO. We thought I'd say a bit about our upcoming plans for 2023. The big company news is that we will be expanding throughout next year, and that includes adding new local service and technical support teams, beginning with North America and expanding to other regions. We've committed to that in the spirit that this expansion will be all about incorporating a large dose of Western DNA into all of our operations. That means we will be putting a heavy focus on personal attention for every customer. The new mandate is to always land on the side of quality and service. I've been with Pimax since 2018, and I can tell you so much has changed since we started. In the early days, we were just a small group, and today we have departments that are larger than our entire company was in 2018. Our founder, Robin, has encouraged our entire team to open up to new ideas and a new way of thinking, and I am definitely seeing that every day at the company. So, Let's talk a bit more about what you'll see in this short presentation today. So the Pimax Reality 12K QLED was not the only Reality Series headset. The Reality Series was actually in development prior to the 12K, and we anticipated the headset we later called the Crystal would probably be the first in the series to ship to the public. The Crystal has attracted a huge amount of interest, and we received countless questions about it, looking for a lot more information and a lot more detail. Well, it's finally time to tackle those questions. First, we'll show you the production model of the Crystal, along with all sorts of details, and next we'll share some news and updates about the 12K QLED and the Pimax store. So I'm handing it back over to Josh, and he'll dive in all about the new Pimax Crystal. So without further ado, let's jump right in and check out some of the big questions many enthusiasts have asked about. We'll start with some info on the accessories. Here we have a DisplayPort 1.4 cable for streaming, about 5 meters long. We can get more out of DisplayPort 1.4 than ever before using DSC and other techniques allowing extremely high definition images. Now let's check out the Crystal's appearance. The new Crystal housing is narrower than the 8KX in the front and considerably lighter due to our choice of materials and structural upgrades. It has a beautiful black matte service, very different from our old friend the 8KX. The head strap still has a knob at the back of the head for adjusting the fit, and the box contains a hot swappable 6000 mAh battery that also works amazingly well as a counterweight to the front of the headset. We can see our next generation speaker system on both the left and right sides of the headset. 
The new crystal speakers support DTS, which enhances spatial audio and uses an internal audio processing chip, providing a more immersive virtual experience. Here are the new controllers. The sensors scattered along the device allow for precise positioning and allow for a close approximation of accessories like firearms, sabers, and more. Now we're coming to the part that excites us the most, our new Pimax Crystal lenses. For those who haven't watched our Crystal launch event, Crystal adopted optical glass coated aspheric lenses instead of Fresnel lenses to provide the best possible visual experience. In tests, many noticeable optical challenges such as god rays are substantially reduced, making images much sharper. To achieve ideal performance, the lenses must go through a long and complex manufacturing process. As you may know, larger fields of view are a signature feature of Pimax headsets, but this requires unusually large lenses that can't be processed using injection molding, which translates to higher costs and requires highly precise machining, inspections, and coatings. Whether for a large or small audience, Pimax does not compromise on tech or quality. As you might know, the Crystal also incorporates a new lens system called the Interchangeable Lens System. The name is self-explanatory. The lenses are fully interchangeable, which means you could take out one pair of lenses and swap in another pair, each pair providing a unique visual experience. You could choose the 35PPD set and try out a 140 degree diagonal field of view, which exceeds most headsets on the market. Or you can choose a 42 PPD set and explore a virtual world practically indistinguishable from the real world in terms of visual clarity at a lower field of view. In the Crystal launch event, we can see that the lenses were attached with screws. However, during the development process, our engineering team began to think, what if we could make the process of swapping lenses easier and more natural? Can we improve the user experience of our lens system to make it enjoyable even? The lens system evolved and the production crystal includes an easy to use magnetic attachment system for the lenses. Voila! Of course, screws will remain as a backup option in case something goes wrong, or if you simply wish to stick with a particular set of lenses. It's up to you. These lenses are very easy to clean and include anti-abrasion and anti-dust coatings, so typical lens cloths can be used to quickly clean these new lenses. We've also added a dustproof glass layer between the lenses and the screen, which is utilized as both a protective layer and the reflective glass surface for the eye tracking module. Another function that drew a lot of attention was the auto IPD feature. We can see how it works here with the support of Crystal's eye tracking system. The cameras capture the movements of our pupils and the built-in stepper motor inside the headset moves the lenses automatically into position. In addition to the automatic IPD adjustment, we've also added the ability to adjust the IPD manually via buttons on the left side of the headset for fine-tuning the position to your ideal sweet spot. Okay, enough with the functionality. Let's check out what high PPD visuals look like. Take a look at these images. There are so many titles out there that are widely praised for their outstanding graphics and exquisite textures. In flight simulators, you can easily see all of your indicators and controls. The words on each panel are clearly visible, and even when we zoom in, there are still no visible pixels. To provide some idea of what 35 PPD looks like, let's welcome an honored guest, the MetaQuest 2. 
as the single most popular VR headset in terms of sales numbers, we thought the Quest 2 might work as a nice comparison for clarity. So, if you look at this, you can easily see the difference. The distance from the camera to the words is the same for both headsets. We can see the Quest 2's visuals have visible pixels, while crystals look clear and sharp. As for the field of view, if you put on the headset, you'll need the help of your peripheral vision to see the edges inside a crystal. But in the Quest 2, you immediately realize the limitations imposed on your vision. Now let's tear down the housing and take a look inside the headset. The screens adopt local dimming technologies, which are the first of their kind in standalone VR. Our engineers chose the latest local dimming technology to provide users with a great HDR effect. Compared to typical, almost universally used global dimming technology, local dimming provides much higher contrast ratios and QLED's vibrant colors allow for a wider color gamut. Local dimming is a core feature necessary to implement HDR displays and achieve the deepest blacks. Without this functionality, HDR displays lose most of their value. Here are some through-the-lens clips demonstrating the differences local dimming can make. Crystal's mini-LED technology achieves a peak brightness level equal to the HTC Vive. The crystal includes the densest screens and backlights we've ever produced. In order to squeeze thousands of self-luminous units into such a small panel, we went through thousands of tests and trials, achieved countless technical breakthroughs, and ultimately, we're now able to present you with this marvelous visual experience. Moving on from the optics and displays, the Crystal is a hybrid headset capable of both standalone and full-function PC VR experiences. We've also added a physical toggle button to seamlessly switch between PC VR and all-in-one modes. Additionally, the PC VR mode supports the standard display port cable and our new super-thin custom fiber optic cable. Wi-Fi 6E is the streaming solution utilized in some of the latest electronic devices, and Crystal supports this functionality as well. Wi-Fi is a decent baseline solution. Wi-Fi is good, but we all know that Ygig is much faster and can provide much higher resolutions and faster refresh rates. We all want a next generation device that provides a streaming experience as close to native performance as possible. Our Ygig module is capable of transmitting PC data wirelessly over the 60 GHz frequency with strong anti-interference capabilities within 5 to 8 meters from the PC with almost no frame drops and zero latency. Pimax engineers have systematically optimized our Ygig module. With this new architecture, the Pimax Ygig is both smaller in size and has lower power consumption compared to previous Ygig devices. Just connect the emitter station to your PC and insert the receiver on the port in your headset and you're ready to go in seconds. So, enough about the hardware. Let's take a quick look at some of the new Pimax Crystal software. We opened the Pimax store just recently in September and that included a significant batch of new games. Many of these games, and a lot more, will also be available for the Crystal and 12K QLED. Think about being able to enjoy high-resolution HDR streaming with your Pimax headset without having to worry about the cable. YGIG eliminates the need for wires, providing more freedom in virtual reality. The YGIG kit can be purchased as an optional accessory at a reasonable cost. For those of you who are looking for a powerful yet simple PC-based solution, we are offering the new Pimax Power Station. This is different than the station shown during our Frontier event. This is a full-fledged, customizable small PC, a PC that can run the most demanding RTX titles and includes our Ygig emitter. These units will come fully pre-configured for use with Steam VR, together with our new Crystal headsets.
Of course, we haven't forgotten about the replaceable faceplates. During our last launch event, we announced two faceplates, the Lighthouse cover and the Mixed Reality cover. The Lighthouse faceplate allows users with Lighthouse compatible devices and tracking to use them with the Reality Series headsets, whereas the EMR cover allows users to observe the surrounding world in real time. It's noteworthy that the Pimax MR cover utilizes 32 megapixel CMOS sensors instead of 16 megapixel ones that are seen in some of the latest devices. The Lighthouse cover will be the first to release, so stay tuned. When all is said and all is done, we haven't forgotten about the most prominent question. What about the 12K QLED? The Pimax 12K QLED is progressing we're happy to announce we've completed over 70% of the work certifying the development process. Most of the 12K QLED components are shared with the crystal, so you'll see many shared systems when seeing reviews and hands-on videos with the crystal. As with any development effort, there have been challenges with the 12K QLED that we had to overcome, and a few that still require optimization. Of course, the Crystal is also receiving optimizations regularly in the form of software and firmware updates. For example, the Crystal should receive an upcoming OTA update that activates access to its standalone software library sometime in November. The Crystal has quite a lot of games in development, and a few dozen are expected to launch in the same time frame. The nice thing about the work on Crystal updates on both the software and firmware sides is almost all of it also applies to the 12K. This is also true for the standalone launch, but for the 12K, we expect to launch the device with standalone already enabled. Soon, we'll begin a series of roadshows as our factories ramp up mass production. We're excited that everyone will get to experience Crystal at the shows in our factories working overtime to produce as many units as possible. Crystal's production and initial launch are still moving forward. We'll open it up as we expand production volume, hopefully with a much faster ramp up than we had with the 8KX. We also have a bit of cool news on the Crystal to share. There is a higher volume production becoming available now for some of the fundamental components in the Crystal. This created a bit of a production cost savings that we're happy to pass along to Pimaxians. As a result, the new MSRP for the Crystal Full Kit is being reduced to $15.99, and the Pimaxian price is reduced to $14.99. That's $300 off our original announced price. Pimaxians will still receive the half price discount for the Lighthouse faceplate. The Crystal Full Kit package includes the Pimax Crystal headset, integrated audio, which is a better version of the DMOS, two joystick controllers, the display port cable, and both the 35 PPD and 42 PPD lenses. We hope that this update has provided you with some much desired information, and we thank you for watching. You can expect even more information soon, as well as the dates for our upcoming roadshows. Until then, from all of us at Pimax, goodbye.